do stuff more ways than one. We done stuff family. But um, in the domestic violence, you know, I, I grew up, I, my dad died when I was 12. And so all I, I had three brothers and two sisters. But I, I saw the domestic violence in the family. You know, women would call the house, you know, and I'd pick up the phone and being an innocent child, I would say, Dad, the lady wants to talk to you on the phone. And my mom would run to the phone and they'd be arguing, fighting over the phone. And somewhere in there, I, I believe, I know for a fact, somebody said, I don't want to be a part of anything like that. I, I, I made a vow to myself at a young age that I don't want to be a part of a violent family environment. And uh, I think my wife knows for a fact. If, if it has to come to that, I'd just rather walk away. Because we, we all know, let, I mean, let's get honest, men are physically stronger than women in most cases. So my thing is, and I know it comes from a background of abuse. Some men do it because they've been abused and they've been in their family, they've been in abusive families and they've seen a lot of abuse. And sometimes it takes a lot for a woman to actually, or for a man to actually understand that that is not the norm. You know, a lot of us believe that fighting and arguing, uh, there have been some situations where I've seen families where everything is going beautiful and all of a sudden all trouble breaks loose because for some reason they don't think that the, the laughter and the joy is the norm. It's, it's only normal if they're arguing and fussing and fighting. You know, so we have to really, that's why it's so important for people to understand who Christ is yes. in, in their life because a lot of people play church so when they go to church, they're playing because when they come home, they bring, they, I don't know why they go, when they, they go go one way and come home the same way, no. you know, they go home, they beat their wife up and then they go to church and they shout, uh, and I've seen it, they shout, they give God praise and then they come home and beat up their wife, beat up their kids. I mean, they look, that, that is so unreal. They, they, they're, they're playing church. You know, you can't pray that God will hurt them. <laughs> and sometimes as a man, I say it, if I see it, I, I, Lord, just let me. But Lord, I say, go sit down somewhere for it. I say, yes, sir. I go sit down and I get to pray. Because honestly, I, I really, honestly, and I don't care who goes, I despise in any shape, form, or fashion. And with Angel of Outreach, Angel of God Outreach, the ministry that I see, the first word is angel. Angel of God reaching out to those that are in need. And I don't know, that, that was the name before you met, met Angela? Yes. <laughs> Be careful what you call yourself because you got to go do what you got to do. <laughs> you know, being an angel of God outreach, you got to be the angel of God and go reach out to those that are in need. And we thank God for that. Thank God for your ministry. It, it, it's, it's powerful in itself. Uh, where is Angel of God located? Tell us a little about where it's located. I actually do it from my home right now. My main goal for this year is to get my first transition home. I want to. I pray that it will be gifted um, it to me, and that's one of my main goals. Another one of the things that we do with Angel of God Outreach is to build women's self-esteem back up. So many women, even if they have not experienced domestic violence, uh, their self-esteems are broken. Um, a lot of times, their self-esteem is bro or their self-esteem is broken due to things that have happened in their childhood. And I tell people a lot of times the reason that uh, domestic violence ends up being so easy um, with a lot of women is because it's a hurt little girl that was never healed. There was a there's a hurt little girl who could have been sexually abused, a hurt little girl who could have been verbally abused. A hurt little girl who could have been emotionally abused. So the decisions made at 25, 30, 35 are not those decisions of a 35 year old, but they're the decision of an eight year, an eight year old little girl who was never healed. So one of the main uh, goals this year is to reach as many women as possible who have been hurt. Um, one of the things that we do that my sister Sabrina Durden who will be coming up in a little bit talking about the Jasmine House Foundation she introduced her project 
And so that's something that is a, um, a main thing we do with Angel of God Outreach.